watching SLBC Entertainment. How are you? I'm fine. Are you showing us your statistics? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, can you tell us a bit about yourself, please? Well, I'm Samiela Godin. I'm an actress, a video model, uh -huh. and I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. I love what I'm yeah. hearing. I love what I'm hearing. Thank so, you. What do you like to do for fun? Well, I do music. I love to dance. Dance. So when can I you want, dance when I want, right now? Of course. Okay, so go ahead. Give us something. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> What's music I was singing? I'm making okay. a song. <laughs> That's problem. 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 These girls are bad. Oh, that's drizzly. And I'll be too nice. I must have. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I love that. I love that. One thirty, one thirty. Ella for the mula. One thirty, one thirty. Okay, I love that. So, um... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so okay, so tell us. I I'm already liking your vibe. Like you have a very bubbly vibe. You're energetic, okay. and I like that. So uh, I just need Thank you to you. tell me how can you describe your personality using three words? Well, I'm confident. Uh -huh. I'm passionate. Uh -huh. Of course, I'm pretty. Okay. I think you, I think you. I think you forgot something. You forgot for mention. Say what? you have a banging body. You have uh -huh, a uh -huh. the, the curvy, 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 <laughs> curvy. <laughs> okay. okay, so um. Let's get down to the more serious questions now. Um, uh -huh. okay, okay, so this is an empowerment show, which you are aware. Uh, but empowerment uh -huh. basically means different things to different people. So in your own words, <coughs> what does empowerment mean to you? Well, empowerment show. Of course, the big sister theme is about empowering women. Yes. So I think I need to be empowered. So I'm a full definition of an empowerment i need to be empowered yeah. look for now i'm a video model my voice has not been outside there why because people are mocking our body so if i got empowered i think i can stand out there okay and i don't go for big sister wow this you get the influence so don't use that for video so watch out for 130 130 aka ella for the mola i love that 130 130 thank you ella for the mola uh-huh you know okay. be the mommy the mommy <laughs> the mommy the mommy Hello. I know they are travel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so yes, Ella. Yeah. What's your greatest strength? What's your greatest Well, I think my greatest strength is me being inspired by my son, which I love so much. I've I've been through a lot. So I think every time I remember my past. So anytime I remember for me picking, that one that give me confidence for me to keep pushing. So I think so that is my greatest strength. What about your weakness or your weaknesses? Well, I think my weakness is, yeah, when you it's, it's all based on my past. I have a terrible past. So when you bring back my past, oh gosh, you kill me. That's it. When you hit on my past, that's my weakness. But my past is, it's my inspiration and my past is my weakness. Okay. Do you want to tell us a bit about yeah. your past? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I can make some into English and we own Creole dialects. I don't know okay. if you can excuse free. me. Feel free. Okay. Me and I somebody where people and we like me, but you so peer group bad friends. So we feel people and we say me, I can open our streets. So I'll follow a bad gang. No, it, no, I go to school, yeah, but I'm not able, I'm not able for them for going to university because of bad party. Then I get belly. So I get belly. The madman I'm being there with the going on, going on, going on. 
So because of the same bad party, them go point me to the man. And so we reach and to point, the man being there for denying the belay and all. So police get for coming inside and intervene. So I look so down there and say, no, but who picking and get the concept for say, when they get belay, then life done, done, everything done, done, when you give Bobby, you Bobby the problem. I say, I don't know. I said this speaking, I take up on them. I said I born them. I said take up my mama and people they want to get percent for me. I said look me now. What I tell boss is telling me I come after they don't deny me belly. We get for false demand for can answer and all police intervene. But it is what it is. So Mister Stan for can empower for say after back you you know they you know they cast down nothing. You know they do you look me once you have all you say fine. Uh, once you have a package well you okay. I like that. <laughs> My whole vibe, and I like the confidence. I like how you they carry yourself, and I like your Thank message. You. Also, your, message, your message is really empowering because the fact that you yeah. know there's this starting perception that you know life after born picking, not so best after birth. Yeah, they will say you don't done when you born. I mean abortion buckle. That's we true. don't done this. Never go to school again. Look me now. First I tell you I don't born or this that that, that so. So if uh, if you get the opportunity, you go and go back to school for further your education. Of course, yes, I go one for go back. It's just that the people get the mentality for say this you don't bore, look where it big, look where it done. If I get the bold mind for take up on this step after me back say I can go big sister. Of course, yes, I get the same confidence back for continuing with school. That's great. That's great. Uh, yeah. I think that that's all for me for now. Let's just say I like your personality. I like how bubbly you are, and I like how you carry yourself Thank and stuff you. like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I'd expect for see more of more of that in case you may come into the uh -huh. But before you go, I man, I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. You get it to one tell me before you go. Anything we want to tell course, me. Of course, of course, of course, yes, yes, of course. I want to say shout out to Big Sister because I know say Boku Boku picking them, them go able stand out and say no to abortion and watch out for Team One Thirty One Thirty, aka Ella for the Mula, the big, the chubby mama ya. Una watch out. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm good. So, can you tell us a bit about yourself? I mean, Balu Bangura, Balu Bi Bangura. I attend the MC Primary School, Ginger Hall. I mean, I had a lesson, I had a dance. I stopped class six. So, how long you don't do MC yes, for? From my day, because I have the survivor, they came in lunch for go school, I have the class four. Okay, so from class four, now you begin doing your dressing. Say now you do your dressing. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, what do you make you want to go inside the big sister village? Why you want to go there? Because I know say what I want to go and empower myself, empower anybody really close to me. Because I don't know my sister, I go there, I go and empower myself. Um, so, empower yourself in, in what way? You want to continue for do your dressing? Or you want to try for go back and a school? What exactly they look for from the platform? In what way? If you go make a fortunate for go inside the house, like a fortunate for continue for do me addressing. So now you, you want to continue for do you want to continue for do the addressing? Yes, when I will continue for the addressing, call like I'm not going to go to school again. You make it enable go to school again. Why? Because uh, right now the address I don't you don't pay me like now so they do not focus on. I focus for more. Okay. Yes, no. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. well that's not bad. But let's say if you get the opportunity, like okay. possibly one sponsor you for further your education, you go once do not they? Yeah, no, as it's still continue. If I get possible, assist me, go they sponsor me, I can still continue my education. Okay. okay, okay. So if you, you know, win right now, right now I just self. I need to take care of me self. I do two things in a way to make I get money. Although you have the plans also always, but that is in a way to make I get money. So like another another the me self. I buy with a buy a user as woman. So my body self I did so. So my body I did. I mean in our home.
Okay. Okay, you say apart from the ear dressing, because not all say they do the plants. What are the other things that we say they do other apart from for getting money? Like what are the other thing apart from that we can do so for getting money? Like, most of them are in group, they don't count now, they're in sex group, and they don't come. Some of them join in group and they because of need help. You say sex group? Yes, ma. Okay. So you're not a commercial sex worker? Yes, ma. I can do that. You can do that for survive? Yeah, for that survive no more. Because at times they come, they cry now, what they know they so. They plan to do that, it's difficult, not easy. So you can do the other thing and if you make you able to take care of yourself? Yes, because me party while they tumble back, not get. You say not turn back, they too right. Like this is my first time where they hear about sex group. I'm sorry, but you want like tell me more about how then sex group then they they work like waiting there about like how you be able to make money from that. Like, well, like how they make money from that? Like, when are in a group? Like when you send like your nakedness or you 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 pictures, you full pic. You send a man like you in the counter, you give you, you not talk, now me talk. You go do it if you do. This they happen on WhatsApp. Yes, ma. Wow. Okay. 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 So let me say you get the opportunity for go inside the oath. Yeah. Right now, the audition you say we pick you. So when you go inside the oath, you win or you not win. When you come back, you do you want to go back to that life there or you want to do something else with your life? No. We see a uh, make like a seller go empower myself. Now for let make a come all. And then sin and day. Like I don't come inside the house again. I can't even then sin and day. It go very shameful for me, self, self. Couple then will laugh at me, say, look, I don't go inside the house. They come over the same flag in the candle. So I will find something that way will empower myself for that same day now. Now I avoid all sin what be deeper. What can I mean a new fresh lulu? Okay. So let's say you, you go inside the house and you win the fifty thousand dollars. What do you go do with that money then? Like where I sorry make pay so I go look for empower myself then I build if I sell like I make um, I will call some of the company there one who say like we all live at the same struggle, we all suffer the same, we all in a street so we all in a street so they suffer. Like I go do all some my teacher, we go able to learn them and listen them back let them know waiting for do. Back made in Sabi, small, small. Or once a man out to want to want and a small, small if ever you be a Sabi. Okay. Something. Lulu, how much are you old? Me, I'm 26 years. Are you 26 years? Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so Lulu, Lulu, let's talk about what are you be now. What you can do for fun? What you want to enjoy? What you can do? What I can do for fun? Yeah. I can do fun, I like for dance. I like to open up for somebody. Like, make that, make fun. So, so he's there for the person to laugh at that. Okay. All of us are the dance for. You so say you know, I'm not for that. You know, so we dance for you. I like for that. I like for that. I like for that. Okay, Lulu. Uh, Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, your story really, really inspiring. Um, hopefully, we will get back to you, yeah? No problem, thank you very much. Okay, thank bye. Thank you, bye bye. Hello, Mayama, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm fine, thank you. Can you tell us a bit about yourself, please? Um, my name is Mayama Batamantore. Um, I'm a former student of travel and tourism, and I'm representing the tourism industry as well. I am unique, I'm beautiful, and um, I'm, uh, I am I'm beautiful as well. Okay, so tell us, why are you here today? Why the Big Sister audition? Well, I want to represent the tourism in Sierra Leone as well. And um, I want to portray my ability for tourism industry because it's my cause that I study for the past four years. I want to sell out the tourism for Sierra Leone outside the world, right around the world as well. Because you know, um, any um, this um, industry in Sierra Leone, this tourism industry creates so many impacts for any country that is um, that is that is um, concentrating tourism, uh, uh, um, 
tourism is bringing so many income in a particular industry, in a particular country as well. So I'm portraying and uh, I'm in and uh, I'm doing everything I can to sell out this particular industry right around the world. I want to sell out this tourism industry right around Africa, right around Europe and so many things. Okay, so um, you keep emphasizing on the fact that you're representing the tourism industry and you want to do as much as you can to sell the industry to the international world. So um, yeah. how do you intend to use this platform in selling the tourism industry of our country to the international community? Well, me being a big sister, season three, best of season, I know I will portray my, my intelligence, what I've studied and what I've learned in this particular industry um, since um, it's um, the live TV right around the world, uh, seeing us doing the TV show, I will explain and um, explain and sell out the industry right now. All the good things that tourism industry have done in this country, all the good things that um, things that need to be done and things okay. that need that uh, let's just say like me that like the minister have not, not been doing okay. like they need to do so that we have we will be having um plenty um toys in coming to Sierra Leone okay. to be watching our historical our history our history in this country that have been passed okay. like the beaches like so many things like banana island like the and so many so many other and uh, historical things okay. that the the the, the toys and like mm. like the toys and like to see because okay. our beach is one of the beaches in 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 africa that is one of the fine unique beaches in africa so okay. i will try to give do my best try to 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 sell out the Salon tourism, I would try to do all I can just to sell out and even to sell out the schools, is, the toys in schools, because what I've learned is that um, in Sierra Leone, they did not concentrate on toys and schools in Africa, in, in Sierra Leone. Okay. The only concern, yeah, we know we have, we, we have the industry in Sierra Leone. We have a, a, a minister of tourism, then we have that, a, toys in uh, and toys body in Sierra Leone. But these people are not concentrating on that particular industry. Mm -hmm. These people and they only concentrate on them having toys in the country. Okay. But they are not concentrating in the schools. Okay. The schools, like we need more schools in this particular industry. We only have one or two colleges in this particular industry. Toys in hospital, like World Post is one of the, the, the toys in school in Sierra Leone and book fields as well, these two are, and, and my guy, they, are, they two are doing toys and hospitality. But like, seriously, they are not really concentrating in toys, not you being, and you have studied for so many times and you only have to go to IPAM or FBC, no. <laughs> not only that. Some people are out there to do cabin crew, like me. Okay. I studied and, and Tourism because of I want to become a cabby crew. Okay. As me being a tourism student, tourism and hospitality student, not I do not want to stop there. I want to become a cabby crew in Sierra Leone. I need to make my country proud. But because of these particular people, this stories, this industry is not is not is not um, focusing in this particular. Even most of the students graduate graduate from tourism schools, they do not have, even have jobs. Okay. They only employ people who did not even have the, the, the opportunity, who did not even have the certificate, who did not, who did not even have the, 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 the knowledge about them being in tourism in, in industry. Okay. Most of us are here. Okay. So like I want to portray, I want to sell the industry, I want to say something, so many things that I've learned and so many things that I want them to know, which okay. they did not know. Okay. Okay, so um, Mariama. Can you tell me what makes you unique? What makes me unique is because I know how to live between, I know how to live with people. 
I've lived in the eastern parts of Sierra Leone and I've lived in the western parts of Sierra Leone. I know how to deal with people, I know how to talk to people, and I know how to render hospitality to different people right around the world. So I think that makes me unique, and I know how to behave in the particular how, what and how to do in a particular way or in a particular in, or in a particular way how to do things and how to be able with people and how to know let's just say example if in the morning i wake up then i see huh, you are not that kind like, like you don't want to say something to me you don't want to talk to me i can read your face because that was i study okay. i can read your face oh this person do not want to talk to me so i prefer let me keep let me keep it to myself. Okay, so Mariam, um, what are you reading now on our faces? Like, what are you reading? Like, look at our faces and tell us how how, how are we feeling? Well, like, um, Cameron, she's smiling. I think she wants to talk to me. <laughs> really? I want to talk to you. <laughs> because that's... you're smiling. Yeah, you're yeah. That's... Smiling. Okay. You are like, well, it how could be... like this? Well, it could be that um, I'm actually interested in what you're saying and I'm, you know, just actually focusing and enjoying the conversation and you trying to, you know, express and tell us, express yourself and tell us who you are. So that is, sounds interesting to me. So that's why I'm smiling. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay let me say like, uh, Aminata, she's like, hmm. She's mm. pencing her face. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I love that. She's coming at her. So, so, so like, people actually say, like, I, they can't read my face because mm. I'm most times blank. So I wanted to see if that's true. Is that true? Mm. 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 I watch all, all your parts of this show that you have been doing. Mm. Uh, at times you get to smile. At times you get tense. Like, in my own case, like, you were this tense for me. And I'm like, oh, I'm not, it's more like, it's not open up that this lady wants to give me her. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you again. Is your name Mariama Alfinda Sire Amansare? Is that your name? No, it's Mariama Bata Mansare. Okay. I'm Mama B Mansare. Okay. okay, so Marima, you have said so many great things that you want to do about you representing the tourism industry and how, you know, uh, you hope to utilize the Big Sister platform to be able to achieve those dreams. I know you have talked about all these amazing things. And at the end of the day, to be able to actualize all those things that you have elaborated about, you have to have something to show the viewers, you know, for them to say, okay, Mama deserves our vote for her to embark on all these amazing things that she has told us. So what should the viewers expect from Mariama? in terms of your personality and what, and what kind of drama or entertainment will you be bringing to the viewer's screen? Well, I'll be deal, I'll, uh, because um, my talent is like, I'm a traditional dancer. I'll be doing, you know, tourism is dealing with traditional and the stuff. I'll be dealing with my traditional, tradition, things that have passed doing my, with my tradition and uh, selling out the toys and industry as well, saying good things and the things that they like as well. Then talking to, because I know that some of my um, colleague will be coming from different country to represent this, um, to come attending this big sister show season three, best season, the way be coming. I think I will sell the toys and industry to them maybe they will go out there after the best season they'll go out there oh i think i met with one lady in sierra leone um that lady has been selling toys in industry i think i want to try what she has been saying to me and and that other that person it will be selling toys in industry to his or her or a friend and that other friend will be selling toys in industry to his or his other friend that's how that's the way it will be going right around and like that. They will be coming and do so many stuff and um, doing some investigation, doing some um, um, investment in Sierra Leone as well. But we'll be doing as well what is past my traditional dancer and my tradition 
and um, doing my toys and stuff as well. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank Maria. you for joining us today. Okay. Thank you. It was Thank nice. you. It was nice talking to you. Ow. Thank no. you. I mean, I'm smile for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing for you now. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Can you tell us about yourself, please? Um, my name is Maya Mabar. I'm a Sierra Leonean and I'm a Fula and Kuru by tribe, Christianity by religion. Okay. I live with my uncle at Takusi World Street. I'm a young, simple, and vibrant girl who wants to be empowered and prove to people that I can do it if I'm determined to. Okay, so why are you here today? Um, all my life, I've been intimidated by people saying I can't, and that have created fear in me, and I've lost confidence over myself. But I strongly believe with this platform, I will be able to empower myself and prove to people that I can also help young girls out there going through intimidations. How have you been intimidated exactly? Can you like explain more? Yes. How? Um, like I have talent in acting, but whenever I step out and say, I want to do this, I have these people coming up. You are not fit to do this. Like, what are you going to do and all stuff? They intimidate me by saying I'm not free. So how would you describe yourself to me that will make you automatically choose you to go inside the Big Sister Village? Um, I'm, I'm ambitious and I have a lot of qualities in me that if I'm appointed to be in the village, my, my fellow roommates will learn from and I will learn from them too. And I will make the house very lively that will move people to have more interest in watching the show. Okay, so how would you describe your personality using just three words? Okay, I'm simple, friendly, and I don't get angry easily. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> hey, Mariama. <laughs> yeah. Over. How are you, Mariama? I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. Why are you laugh past me so now? You look like laugh past me. <laughs> Okay, Mama, so let's talk about something really fun. What do you do for fun? You know, you know, because this show is basically, I understand that you have a passion. You want to use this platform and, and, and all the other stuff that you said. Um, those, are, those things are really inspiring, but you have to keep in mind that this is a reality TV show. And sometimes people look for um, different things in terms of, What's fun? What would catch the attention of the viewers out there to make them vote for you? So what do you have in that department to offer that will make those viewers see, oh, me I want to vote for mama? Um, I can act and I can mime songs too. Okay. I do mime songs for food. Yeah. So do you want to mime something for us? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All okay. right, go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to sing a song by Nicki Minaj. I'm going to rap a song by Nicki Minaj. I love that. Choose a song that I like. We'll wrap it together. So this one for the boys with boom sister. Stop down AC with a cool sister. Money coming for the club. Bigger blazing up. Just stick on dick like a saving up. And ill, he real. He might get a real hip hop burst. And a white kind of He call, he dope. He might sell coke. He always in the air, but he never fly. Cause she a motherfucker. She cheats on the tree. Money with a jeep dick. Cause I'm a little That's the kind of dude that was. Yes, she could slap if you look at her. I say, excuse me. You were hell of a guy. I mean, my, 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 like, I mean, you so shy. I'm a loving it. I like, I like, oh, yes, I did. I did. Somebody plus the mood. F I E. I'm Nicki Minaj. I'm the dude. So, Back to, boy, you got my heartbeat running away. Being like a drumming, running away. Okay. Oh, so we are going to see more of that, right, in the house. So people should expect more oh, yeah. miming, more singing, more dancing for Marama, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay, I love that. How old are you again? I'm 22 years. You're 22 years old. Okay. Okay, Mama, thank yeah. you so much for joining us today. Uh, we may or may okay. not get back to you, but thank you for joining us. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, good evening. How you doing? Hi, How you doing? Fine. So, can you tell us a bit about yourself? I'm in Quizette Marie Mosiri. I born December 31, 1996. 
three feet two inches tall, pure in complexion. So I get one girl picking me a single parent. Queen Z, wow. And the first study I get a name there. Usa, Queen Z, Usa, you come on. I live number 16, shall go to God Rich. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You can put the map, make with your eyes. Okay, three feet. Okay. Yes, ma. That's three feet. Two inches tall. So why are you here yes, today? Yes, ma. Wait, make her then a big sister today. Yeah. And because of her, see me, my sisters, their life, they don't change. So me say, if I go on, let me life change. So now I make her come, for her go to be inside big sister. So how you want to change your life? Like, why are you, the way you life there now, why you feel so you want to change up? One, last say me are the hustle. I don't get who that they give me. Me are the anger. I don't get who that they give me. First I go anger, I get him for it. I can't feed me, mama. Why are they so? I can't feed me, picking. I don't get nobody where they give me. When First man go lay down to me, I get him for oh. it. Oh, okay. So now you mean by you the go anger? anger. Yes, ma. Okay. So what are you picking him, Papa? Me, you know, from, from the tail where they from three. Now you abandon me. Not take care of picking, not take care of me. Now me one green. I must say I get nobody, now. I don't get help. Okay. Seven yeah. years now. Seven wow. So for seven years, the man you picking him in Papa not in your life, eh? Ah. Okay, okay. So um, you know, let me talk about something else where you can they do, like, you know, you get party because you know so I didn't show you so na best season. And when you go inside. You yeah. go with yes. your bestie. So right now, if we pick you, say, yes. um, Queen uh, Queen Z, for go inside the big sister village. We don't have that party there. We go care. We, yes. we, we go one take for care. Go inside the village. And why you go one take and for go with you? Yes, one. Wait, make I go and care go down my friend because you know much about me. Anything so far, they go my relationship. Anything so far, they stress me. Go put me down. Advise me, say na so na so. So. So me self, I go like for Lagota inside the house. You go able to control me much. If he me ask one self, he go put me down and advise me. Anything so far, yes. So stress me, go put me down and advise me, talk to me fine. So you know much about me. So now you make. So guys, now, if, if I didn't know much about you, now you want come, go yes. like put you in the post where you they talk to, eh? <laughs> but when yes. I say, oh, they go inside the house, and also they go complete for yes. $50,000. You, 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 yes, you, I know. you, you get confidence in our party business, but with standard tension, we go there inside that village, eh? Yes. Why? Because I know how much you know me much. Okay. Anything I tell her, it they take. So me back, anything you tell me, I take. So party will continue much. Party will continue much. So if, if, if. Yes. If, okay. So if that you party there, they describe you, what do you go say about you? No, me not say you're not going to talk about me, bad. Because hmm. a secret, when they say, uh, uh, I would call them, na secret, hmm. na secret business, than they, where you get paddy, na secret, you secret, now now all two. Now now you secret, now So if you come out, you go pull her, problem not there. <laughs> okay, Queen Zeph, so. if they ask you paddy, make it tell you, the, make it tell me the kind of person where you be. Wait till if you say you paddy, go tell me. Yes. He, he go talk much about me. He go talk like much. I not go like, deny. Like, like wait he go say. He go talk say, he, he go say this is where so na ga regi at least na wait is he go talk much about me. <laughs> okay, where's that you find him? First land one, first land one him ba. That is Susan. Susan, so Susan, yes, Susan and Queen Z. Now the party land they see the inside. Now now two they go inside. Now two they go fetch for the fifty thousand dollar. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, now go fetch for the fifty thousand dollar. God make una win am. What you una? What you go want do with yes, that body? What you go want do the money? What you go want? What you what you me go want do the money? Me community yeah. wa fend me self. Wa can mess up me self. Wa no no get water facility. No get toilet. Don't do the picking in our environment. Don't no don't no good. Some man they don't go talk to Bella. Some man they smoke kush. Some man just let me self carefree na the environment. Mm -hmm. So me, God bless me. I go able to remove some na the village. Mm -hmm. Get water. Water facility, toilet facility. And then that you want to. Yes. Okay, that is really, really great. So if you get the opportunity for go back now, school, you able go back, you you want for go back now, school, help pursue education. Yes, I go able because oh. I get small understanding. Okay. All right, Queenet. I just want to ask you one more. I just want one more question for you because um, big sister, where yes. you go day, you go first day for yes, um fifty thousand dollar, eh? But sometimes that you go there, you yes. need to win. But you also get the platform. Yes. 
you don't understand and just know yes. you say just know you say you, you want canada the show because you make make your life change right so if yes. you know if yeah. you know if you know win the fifty thousand dollar but people that don't already yes. study you eh we, we go go the show yes yes the show. What thing you go want to do with this platform? Who you come out now do? What thing I go want to do? I go, I go much get good people here. We go help me. Okay. What thing I don't talk so? They go must help me greatly. Say this because he plan. What thing, what thing go for yanda? So if you know able self, you go able. Then then go say this. I help and so 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 say. I go help me so 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 say. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, Queen Z, thank you for joining me. Thank Aye. you too. <laughs> you will hear me from we are. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello, how are you? Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. I'm so, fine. Okay. Can you tell me about yourself, please? Uh, of course. Okay. Uh, my name is my name is Esther Thomas, and I was born and raised in Sierra Leone. And uh, I uh, single parent family. Blue Christ College and some secondary school in the East. I am 23 years old and I live with my family. Okay. Why the Big Sister Audition? Yeah. Why the Big Sister Audition? Uh, yeah. Because I want to, I want to make it into the house, the Big Sister house, for sure. So why so do you want I'm... to make it into the Big Sister house? Like why Big Sister? Ah, yeah. Why did you decide to come for this show? Well, because um, I want to give. Uh, I want. Uh, well, I want to give the my family the life they deserve. That's one, and I want to empower other women. That's two, and uh, I want to continue my education. That's yeah. I want to further my education. Okay, so when you say you want to empower other women, how do you want to empower yeah. other women? Like, I want to um, me uh, so to empower other women. For me, is like um, like come up with a show, like a reality show or something interesting, because there are a lot of women out there, a lot of girls who have so many talents, potential, but you know, they are scared to come up, they're afraid because they don't have someone to, to lead them, you know, someone they, so I would do that. I would empower other young girls, you know, to help them how I can. Okay, so when you say you want to like organize a reality TV show, what kind of reality TV show do you want to organize to empower these women that you want to empower? Like, uh, talent show you know where you can come and express your talent we have a lot of talented people in Sierra Leone you know but there's you know none of this none of these things are happening because of I don't think anybody have you know started this uh type of shows you know like talent shows okay so like if I have a talent if I have a talent for, for example if there's a uh, talent show going on there, like I can go there and say, oh, I can do this. This is my talent. And then the world's going to know. People are going to know. So, Okay, so speaking about talent, do you want to tell me what your talent is or are? Like, do you, what's your talent? Hey, I have a lot of talent, too. So. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, like, I can sing, I can dance, I can do comedy, I can do... Um, I, I, what else? I, uh, I can switch my accent, my voice. Okay, so, I would love yeah. to. I would love to see that. Yeah, can you so do much. something for me? I would love to see that. Can you do something for me? Like just make up a sentence or make up something. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm gonna give you the Br British accent. Okay. So <laughs> it goes like this. Um, Hi, my hi, I'm going to die. It's all hi. So, um, excuse my, are you here? Are you from Africa? Oh, yeah, darling, it's all okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, oh, nice to meet ya. So, that's the British accent. That, okay, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I also have Nigeria. I also have Nigeria. I can speak Nigerian. No, okay. I can speak Nigerian. I can switch from any type of language I want to speak to. Uh huh, for sure. 
and I have American accent. Like, I can really speak like American when I want to. So, excuse me. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is interesting. This is really interesting. So, the big sister um, season this year, it's all about bestie. It's all about friendship. Yeah. So what I want to know here is what does friendship mean to you? And if we choose you to go into the house, do you have that one bestie that you would want to come into the house with? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't really have any friends. Okay. Why not? So because I have been bullied all my life with friends. It's very painful so i have bad experience in my past with friendship so right now i don't have any friends so if i make it into the house if i have a friend there i would love it I, it would be a blessing for me okay but the the thing is if we choose you to go into the house you need to bring your bestie along with you so it's not like you're going to find the best in the house you need to bring someone with you when you come okay so if is it okay if i bring my sister because she's the only close person to me like close close yeah sure your best it can be anyone love it can even be your sister your mom so you can bring anyone that is that you consider oh, as your okay. best yes. yes okay that's fine okay so what does friendship actually mean to you um, being that you've been bullied before by friends or whatever people that have done so many things to you that actually hurts because i can see by the way you're talking about it so what does friendship mean to you and what do you have to say to these people who have been bullying you and in all that so friendship means to love each other and have each other's back to support each other you know to be there for one another where, where it doesn't matter the condition the situation you know to support each other when 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 even if you're there or not you know like that for me that is friendship okay um like um so all i want to say to them out there is um like today i'm a different person and i know what i want like the type of friend i want close to me so whatever they 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 did to me in the past i have already forget, forgave them and and forgotten about it so that's good that's good. i love the fact that you've actually moved on from that because trust, trust me people who bully other people they are most times insecure like about themselves so don't let their insecurity yeah exactly. actually yeah change who you are you are who you are regardless of what they think or what they what they want to do so i i love the fact that you actually move on from that and you're doing you so just continue to, to do you yeah so thank you so much for joining us and hopefully we'll get back to thank you yeah thank you so much okay, okay. thank you Bye. hello hi how are you i'm fine okay so can you tell us about yourself please um uh, my name is govishu john kamara aka mama g rapping team sharp you game my team go with beauty with brain i'm a student at ipam university and i'm 22 years old so why the big sister audition because I want to get empowered and also empower others out there, young ladies out there who want to become someone, but due to situation and society, they can't. Okay, so how do you want the show to empower you? Um, in terms of my modeling, I want them to empower me in my modeling because I'm a model. Okay. I want to change the narrative because in a society, People are saying models are prostitutes, are allowed. I want to change the narrative. So I want Big Sister to be that platform that I'm going to show myself to the world that model can be vital in the society. Okay, so I know you want to change narratives, which is a very good idea. But can you also tell me what that is a very good idea? But can you also tell me what's that one thing that makes you unique? The thing that makes me unique is that I'm special in my own way because I'm an advocate. I advocate for young women and young children. So that is one of the things that makes me unique. I'm lovable and um, I appreciate everyone, no matter your status or where you belong. So that is the one thing that makes me unique. 
Okay. Um, hello, Godrika. How are you? Godricia. Godricia. Oh, okay. Godricia, yes. how, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. All right, so let's talk about who you are as a person. When you're thinking about yourself, do you, do you huh? see yourself? When you think about yourself, when you think about yourself, do you see yourself as a leader or a follower? I'm a leader. Okay, so what do you think? Are the I, see, I see myself as a leader because I've created platform for young ladies. Like I said, I'm an advocate, a fashion designer. And um, I know with this few platform, I can able to transform others' life and they can um, follow my footstep, my footprint. So I believe I'm a leader. Okay, as a leader, what qualities do you think you have that makes you a leader? I'm that advisable type, first of all. I'm that meek type. I, I, um, um, I add it to my fault and try to improve others, their lapses. Um, I, I never neglected no one, no matter the status, like I said. And I give helping hand to others, trying to boost them up in terms of their financial constraints, in terms of motivating them for them to push their lives. No matter their status, their educational background, you can move. Because as a woman, it's high time we stop being a liability to our husbands, to our um, kids. We have to be that helping mate to others. So I believe that is one thing unique about me. And I know I'm a leader. Okay, so as a leader, you said you're a leader and you have highlighted all the things that make that makes you a leader. And going into the big sister's house, big sister is definitely going to be the leader, the head of the village. So do you see yourself um, following big, big sister's order or would you think that, um, you know, I'm way above being corrected or being told what to do? No, um, first of all, I'm going to follow all rules and regulation because quote unquote, now in life, we get for give respect to who respect is due. What we are and our big sister now we had, so just have to follow rules and regulation. So I'm not saying are they going inside the big sister house and I need to follow rules and regulation. Before you be a leader, you need to obey the world in front of you. No matter how small it be, no matter how it look, you just there for um, um, you just there for recognizing process and try for push. So I'm a big sister, and I'm a leader. When I enter inside the house, and I will follow all rules and regulation and make sure that I abide. Okay, um, Godisha, do you have any questions? Yes, God, Godisha, you know um, this season it's all about bestie and it's all about friendship. So do you mind telling me what friendship means to you? Thank you for that question. <laughs> First of all, friendship means everything to me. A friend can be your anchor, your secret keeper. Your, your friend can be that individual that you bestow your trust and hope on. Some besties are like toxic pollution, which pollutes all good things away from you. While some are like forbidden food that you mistakenly consume. I believe my own bestie that I'm going to unveil will be my anchor, my sparkling light, in which I'm going to write my skies, in which I'm going to bestow my hopes and my dreams done. Okay. Okay. I love that. I love what I'm hearing. Okay, God Risha. Thank um, you. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. We'll get back to you, okay? You're welcome. Okay. Bye. How are you? I'm How, trying to be fine. Uh, why trying to be fine? Why are you trying to be fine? Because I want for me to meet in person, then Corona make her able to meet in person, and able to church, and able to greet in So I need to feel fine for that. <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. We will, we will meet in the future, I'm sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, so can you tell us about yourself, please? Um, me now, Manti Mara. I born Western Urban with Bafos. I grew up in Lombly. I go service secondary school for one from two. And due to health issue, I go to secondary school. I take my back examination. I go to Lombly High School from one from two. I drop out of school because my daddy be seriously sick and confined to bed. And he later die. Since I know me get nobody for help me for make I continue my school, I start for use my hand for creating. Um, I later meet a nice guy by the name of Mr. Joma Bintiwe and enrolled me in a YWCA. From YWCA, I get, fashion, I get interest in fashion and design. I mean, a single parent of one beautiful daughter. 
How old, uh, how old is he, Ken? Uh, four years old. So. Oh, I like the pictures then. You look so good. This is a very uh, good picture. Thank you. Like, this and is I love really the, nice. I love this one. Too. Yeah. Aww. Okay, so Manti, why, why did thank you just you. audition? Why are you here today? Um, because I don't see um, big sister, they change people in life, our community, they put, they change their life from nothing and make them become somebody in our society. And me now, somebody, we don't come across so many things in our life. And I believe for say, when I hear me story, when I know how far I don't come out, I believe so I will give me the opportunity for going to the house, I'll be able to achieve my dream. And make a camp not the big sister. So do you want to tell us about your story? Um, me na posting uh they raped me in the early age where I'm not going to call me age where they raped me and you know like at that time now community everybody be they tell me say me na big woman innocent me when I small picky I don't understand anything everybody be they tell me me na big woman picking them all our area then mama they warn them say no for joke with me no for play with me no for come close to me after that me daddy now maybe they give me love and the thing because he'd be always you know get but it'd be day day for me they help me at least let me self go live that kind of life it can seek confined to bed and not be really easy my mommy not be teacher at that time but it not be enrolled on salary so it not be easy with the sleep without you know eat and then time then day i meet up boku man then boku party the way lie pa me way then use me and don't me say God make a meet up this nice guy we help me for go YWCA. We make the like today. I they do small small thing at my own corner. So me picking me and daddy will not ever make care for. So and it's not really easy. Now me they take care of me picking, take care, they try for help me mommy as well because the courage much more. And as well as the gifts and training to picking in a community because I know we, I know we will explain everything what I go through in our life. Because you know people and they take something from more person. So I know one that make I know able to explain, express myself that much. But I go through a lot. Where they make at times I can grumpy, I can pissed off, but I just get upset, I go reach there in another level. Okay. I love, I love that mindset. Okay. It's really inspiring. Yeah, it is. So so um Manti, what do you think of the concept of empowering women? Um, it's fine for empower women because where women be independent, it, it, foolishness no go come na in way. Man no go fool am na the community for small thing or even any side. And where women be empowered, where they pass, man no for makes we know empower. It they call madam you bobo do hey, madam I they do I everything. So it's fine for let woman be empowered and be independent. Right now I don't get anything or no, at the start small small. But I listen much better now. And I'm going to feel for semen and anything, which is good. Aww, I like that. I like how you don't take waiting can get most people and make it be you drive and your passion and reason why you continue for push and better yourself. That is truly inspiring. I like that. Thank you, darling. Okay, so let, let me talk about you now as a person, you know. Oh, that's not Manti. And why me and Ami go with Sidoya? So why we forgive Manti the opportunity for go inside Big Sister and Village? Well, Manti is a fashion designer, um, a single parent as well, a dropout. Of, I don't mean I drop out. Um, I want to go this backdrop on at the CBN. I will be saying I come. Let me do one. Wow. Nice. This backdrop. Let me do one. And at the so. Africana draws because I don't let for wear draws to decide for show me you. That's that's really yeah, creative. Sure. Afri- that's really creative. That's really creative. Africana g-string. Not g-string. I make it to How I hope. Those not a part safe way I make way I want for get to pick in them way I they teach in my wow. community as well. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So not reusable Thank for Dandy, right? Reusable one, they use them. Yeah, yeah, wash yeah. Them, they use them. Yeah, you say you wash them. Yes, you use them back again. But it's not then I get a video I want for show. Oh, okay. I'll get a video where I want for show now. But when I see some of me walking in. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Well, we will come back for that day. So right now, just show me what thing that you get today. Because I see like just string, I see the pad, I see something also you can get today also. Yes, I make this backdrop and it's not a wall frame. Oh yeah, I can handle with it. Oh, this is lovely. I I will want one of these. This is really nice. Oh. Uh, 
Who's okay, that? darling. It's really nice. You're so talented. Yeah. Yeah, and I make a beat self where I put in a me and I write big sister bestie. Oh, wow. get down on me and step out of the back of it. You're a very <laughs> talented young woman, trust me. This so, is really nice. Yeah, what yeah, you do right now? The I do this. Ready. Okay. Oh, yeah. I do I'll some, one, yeah. I go on the Jageyon. But the Jageyon are the chain you are like. Yeah, it's not in this, not in this as well. Nice. If what you want to say, make a design book chain param and Jagey param around as well. Okay, so I will take your number and call you beside this. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I want to get you. Like, so you don't make all yeah i'm not for say you let them call just when you school with some party <laughs> he just won the world frame that's all <laughs> nothing else okay darling all right so let me talk about you bestie now because it already right now you are the big sister bestie and you know say if we pick you for going inside big sister house of course you get for go with your bestie so you get bestie what you get right now and why make that person there not in a your bestie? Yeah, I got bestie mm -hmm. when I carry out to camera. Um, I pick him as a bestie because I like somebody where they do something we want from use in life meaningfully. Um, now a dancer and a makeup artist as well. Oh, as wow. well, and it, it really they try for push instead for go before you get passion. I like somebody who get passion for push go before. Mm -hmm. So now I make a pick him as a bestie. Now, now my bestie said before the bestie season, you can always call him bestie because okay. I like somebody to do something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I know um she's your bestie, stuff like that, but what if like you went out clubbing to have fun, then someone else take like a bottle of water and just throw it on her? What what will you do? I'm not gonna take a light because you have person on my bestie. Now me you don't offend. If you offend that person when I'm your bestie, now me say self back you don't offend. I so mean a person when you like you really so I will ask you. Yeah, I will ask you why you do that one day. Make I know you easy way make you do that one day. Because sometimes when I get on a beefing or that side or whatnot, I will try for settle things because I don't like too much fed fed. So I will know the easy way make you do them. Last time for no the reason, time for set to learn if I any side when I don't meet up, I said to things make it happen. Let peace day, let peace day, let peace day among we all than beefing, 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 beefing. Okay, so the best season we're given 500 million leons, which is the star prize. So if you win the 500 million leons, what will you do with the money? Um, I get a project where I don't start for myself, me only to what they get, I they train picking them. I go show them a video, let I see everything that they do. I they teach picking them in my community. So if I win that 500,000, I go and forget a, a space for myself where I go for the sell my own product them as well, just see everything that they do. I they make beads, I they sew dress. And as well, I go and forget a space for picking them because I like for capture picking them with a young one for which stay with an unturn youth with a young way to put yeah. them brain nine and they grow up with so I go and forget the space where I go able for teach picking them as well okay catch them when they are young I love that <laughs> I love that that's good okay Manzi uh thank you so much for joining us today um you were ready for me okay okay I can show me video Send them. Send them. Send them. The yeah. number we contact. I can send them with that video to them. Yes. The number we contact. Okay, send, darling. Send the video so so we yes. will watch them more. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank I feel you I want so to meet you tonight. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Okay. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. I love the glasses. They look nice. Thank you. And I love everything that's going on right now. I love the outfits, the hair, everything. When I Thank tried you. in. <laughs> Thank you so much. So can you tell us about yourself, please? So my name is Isa Tubangura, popularly known as Isat. Uh, I am currently residing in London. I'm a musician, singer, songwriter. I double into production and I love fashion, makeup. I like for dance, but well, I'm the first one that's going to tell you that I'm not a great dancer, but I love everything, entertainment and everything fun. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I can remember I saw a video of you. I think it was your song and I love that song, but I, I can't remember now, but it was a good song. It was a video, <laughs> it was a party kind of setting. I think it was nice, I can I remember. I think you're already flashing. 
I feel like she's already crushing on you. Well, she has. <laughs> <laughs> she has been crushing on your song. So that's that. So I said, so thank how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you ladies? I see it's a long day. <laughs> oh yeah, it has been a long day. Um, so yes, let's, just, let's talk about you. You know, you have all these amazing things going on, you know, and sometimes mm -hmm. it's great really, but it's a reality TV show and people look for, you know, personalities, you know? So what should people expect mm -hmm. from I said to in terms of personality think, and drama, entertainment, what you're bringing? I think people should expect um, energy. They should expect, um, you know what? I'm someone that I need a degree. I don't, can I speak Creole? Sorry. Oh, yeah, you oh, can go ahead. Can I mix you up a bit? Yeah, mix up. Okay, great. <laughs> I need to drink, I need to smoke, but I always tell people I have natural alcohol in my body already. Like, I don't need anything to turn up. I'm just really bubbly. I'm, I feel like at first, someone that loves to observe and really test the room and see, like, how is every, how, what's going on, going on and everything. But once I'm really used to everyone or the environment, that's when my character really comes out. So, yeah, I would call, uh, describe myself as someone that is really energetic, fun. I love making jokes. I love making other people laugh and just having a good time. <laughs> okay, so you see, now I know why I connected with you the moment you came on. Like, mm -hmm. I have natural Someone alcohol in my body too. Like, please allow me. Yes. Someone is Let's touching. connect and forget about camera. Like, it's just a talk. Okay. Just forget about her. Please, I'm, I'm, out there. I'm, not, I'm not here. I'm not here anymore. <laughs> okay, I start. So tell me, what's the most controversial thing you've done? I think for me right now, um, at this point, the most most controversial thing I've done right now is getting tattoos because I grew up in a very, um, like I grew up in a Christian home. My aunts and my uncle, they have a church and everything. I used to sing at church as well. So first of all, uh, singing worldly music was like, ah, you just sing about kiss, you just sing say man, you're all you and all, that, all, that, all those things. I was okay. like, oh my gosh. And then when I started getting tattoos, like, and you can see all over my arms like for me it's just expression like i love expressing myself in different ways and just um being the true version of myself i don't believe in living for others at this stage and at this age that i am right now i feel like i rather do stuff now and experience stuff and know that 10 years down the line i would say okay i did this and i experienced it whether it was a good experience or a bad experience i did it than being there and being like oh i wish i did that that's, I feel like that's one of my biggest fears, like wishing, thinking back and wishing that, oh, I wish I did that. So that's why I'm trying to just live life and just express myself and enjoy myself right now. <laughs> okay. So um, I start, you know, this, see, I'm calling you, I start like we've known ourselves for like five years now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, know they, I, know I know you know this, so <laughs> to nobody. So, okay. So you, know, <laughs> you know, this season, it's all about bestie. It's all about friendship. We're trying to like, see how women actually connect with their bestie on so many levels. So we are trying to test friendship. So what does friendship mm -hmm. mean to you? Friendship means, um, for me, really, it's really deep because um, uh, growing up, the way that I grew up, I never was able to really build friendships and get that, like, get that one best friend. Because I we moved a lot, let's just say. I moved a lot throughout the year. So I never was able to be in one place and create that bond and create get to know someone really on that deep level that I'll be able to say that, okay, I've known this person for five years um, and we've been through this and that. So for me, having friends is very deep and emotional for me because um, I feel like a friend is not just, a, for me, friends are not just friends. They become kind of family. They become people that I'll be able to run to, cry on, cry on their shoulders, laugh with, bust jokes with, have crazy humor that other people might not understand. You might look really crazy and silly while you're there just laughing at certain stupid jokes. But someone that just gets you on a different level, that just understands what you're going through that you can actually build memories with because as i said i've never been able to build memories with people because i moved around so much yeah. so for me having someone that i can build memories with talk with and just share that has that crazy humor that it understands me it's just it means a lot okay Mm -hmm. oh, 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 now I'm invited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, now, now I'm supposed to say something. Um, that's really, really great. I think, uh, I mean, I thought it's already, you know, in love. Well, I'm in between in love and I don't know if, you know, mm -hmm. but that we'll get to see where that goes. But I don't have any more questions. 
Well, let's just say I just love what I see and hopefully you get to hear from us. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, you're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm okay, I'm fine. Okay, so can you tell us about yourself, please? Um, my name is Fatima Tamamsu Cole. I was born and raised in Kenema by a woman named Fatima Finda Koma and my father named Tijan Cole. I'm tall, black. Next year, I'll be, I will be entering to the college and then... Um, I'm crazy friendly and I'm a writer. Oh, wow. Oh, you're a writer. What do you write? Um, into, my, into my Instagram, you can see that I've write so many poets, so many documentary. I've write about the Big Sister Salon, the thank you about the, thank you about the Big Sister Salon. So thanks, Zainab Sharif, about the upcoming big sister salon and also write about the Sierra Leone, mother-in-law, so on and so forth. It's on my highlight Instagram. So do you want to share one of your poems with us? Because I get excited whenever I hear about writing. I love to write. So can you share something with us? Yes, ma'am, I will. I wrote about um, Zenam Sherif, okay. about the thank you of the big sister. Okay. It, go it goes like this. Thank you, Zenam Sherif about thank you to Zenam Sherry for bringing a big sister salon into Sierra Leone, which is all about empowering women and girls. And that is a saying that goes by when you empower a girl, you empower the nation. And we want to say thank you, the founder of the big sister salon, Zenam Sherry, for standing up for us, the women and girls. We say thank you for listening to our cries our women and girls. We say thank you for the love you have shown for us, the women. And we say thank you for giving up the opportunity to show our talent, to show our what being in society and to show how much women are more important in Sierra Leone. And we want to say thank you for being there for us, despite the discrimination in our society and this, um, this way discrimination in our society of us women, you know, there is a, there is a saying that goes by: women are always fit in kitchen, women are always fit at the back. I are with they don't know that we are the women who always bring the nature out of us, giving birth to doctors, to teachers. We are women, and we want to say thank you to Zenab Shay for standing up for us, the women in society, especially in Sierra Leone, where women are not respected. We say thank you. Wow. Okay. That's a, that's okay, a good so that's I feel like you deserve thing. a round of applause. So I'm going to give it to you because I love every single thing that you said. And also, thank you for that point. It means a lot. It's, it's, it's really refreshing to see that the younger generations are actually becoming more self-aware of who they are and they're not scared of taking up space and they're very intentional about who they are and what they want to do. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so now down to business. Tell us why why the Big Sister audition? Why are you here today? Um, <laughs> as a as, as a as a good question anyway. The Big Sister Salon. I wanted to be empowered because that's what my mother wants me to. It's a dream of me being empowered by the Big Sister Salon, okay. and she's also part of my journey into this Big Sister Salon. Okay. Because one, I um, want to be a writer and I'm into modeling. I'm into modeling and I want to take it far from the to the Miss Sierra Leone. And my mother is a hundred percent full support of my journey to the big sister. You know, she's the one, she's the one all she's the one campaigning for my big sister salon. Wow. Mm -hmm. And the big sister salon, yeah, she's the one campaign for my big sister salon. And she's also the one who bought the form for me okay. to get empowered by the big sister salon. And I find it very good to fulfill her dreams of me being part of the big sister salon because she didn't get empowered. So she wants me to get empowered. She wants me to become 
who I am and to fulfill a dream of me being part of the DC Salon. Okay. So I'm here for my mother. Okay. Well, you keep emphasizing then, on the fact that you want to be empowered. In what way do you want the Big Sister platform or the show to empower you as a person? In a modeling agent, in a modeling writer, okay, and and so on and so forth. More, especially in the modeling and and and, and the writer. Okay, in the modeling and the writing aspect of it. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about, you know, being selected for Big Sister. And, you know, we faced this issue last year because you know that Big Sister basically our setting is in a village setting. And this year we want to be really um, um, intentional about enforcing the rule of keeping it to the theme of the village setting that we, that, that's the idea. So let's say you are in Frita now, you know, you don't use to Fritong and it's a city and that's a different setting. So how do you hope to navigate through that, through those challenges that will be thrown at you in a setting like that? How prepared are you? Actually, I'm used to anything that comes my way. Okay. I'm not as a Fritonian. I'm from a village also. Oh, what village? Yeah, I'm from a village, um, Nagwewun from Bo. So I'm used to anything hard that comes my way. That's the number one thing my mother always teaches me. Oh. That whatever thing face you in life, you should accept it. For there is something good behind it. So I will cope that I will accept it and I will do my best in, in the big sister house. Okay, that's good. So I'm ready. Okay, so you, you stated on your form that Kadia to Tricket was your favorite in the house since season two. Why? Why her? I love her so much because she's always herself. She's bold. She mind her business. She's not pucky. She's cool. She's nice. All the good things join together for her. I love her so, so much. And I actually want to be her because... The, the first day in the Big Sister show, they started discriminating her, but she's always there. She's always focused. She is, I'm here for Big Sister Salon. I'm here for this money. I want to be empowered. So I'm also here for Big Sister Salon. I'm, I'm here to empower. I love her because she's always herself. You know, they say being yourself is worth more than a photocopy. So I like her for that. Okay. She's so you, accept, that's the number one thing. Okay. So you were saying you want Big Sister Show to empower you with your writing and modeling. Yeah. So let's say I yeah. choose you to go into the house and you win the 500 million units. What are you going to do with that money? One, I will, I will open a modeling, a modeling agency. Okay. And... I will also empower my, continue empowering myself to enter the university okay. of becoming a lawyer. Okay. Of becoming a lawyer. Hello? Yeah, I'm yes, listening. Yes. I'm listening. listening. Don't worry. Yeah. I will first open a Molly agency. Then also, I will further my education. Okay. Into entering to the university to further my education to continue empowering myself because that's what the big sister always do. When she starts, you should continue because yeah. you're not always gonna live in the big sister house forever. So when you are out, you should always continue empowering yourself more and more so that you will be a be a better person in the society. And I will want to do that to get empowered to open a modeling show and also further my education. University to make my mama proud. I'm always there for that to make my mama proud. Aww. Okay, okay. I love the fact that your mom is your uncle. My mom was my uncle. She's late now, but she was everything to me. And she's the reason why I work so hard to be a better woman and, 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 and an empowered woman because she, she was a strong woman and she is a strong woman. She's here with me, even though she's not here. So I love the fact that your mom is giving you all that support. It's, it's really amazing. It makes us as women really strong when we have the support of our mothers. And I want you to tell your mom, thank you 
tell her that I'm saying thank you to her for supporting Aww. you and she should continue supporting oh, oh she should continue supporting you Aww. yeah okay so, it's all emotional yeah. <laughs> so so this season it's about bestie friendship and all that so do you have someone that you would choose to go into the house with you if we choose you to go for the big sister show and why that person i actually have a bestie her name is jennifer josephine nyaleli she is a librarian but basically staying in free time right now and um we have this connection mm. we have the connection of more than this more than a bestie we are like a sister and she is also uh, applying for this WAS examination so that the both of us will enter the same university next year. What university? We are more like a sister. What university are Sorry? you? Um, university you are you are intending on attending. You have. Am I, do I make sense right now? Unimark. Unimark. Yeah, Unimark. Yeah, Unimark. Unimark. Oh, all yeah. right. Okay. That's great. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and hopefully, we'll get back to you. Thank you. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Can you tell us about yourself, please? Uh, my name is Cynthia Ayodele Josati, but normally people call me Cynthia Jose. Friends and fans can call me Morgan. I'm Creo by Tribe, Sierra by Nationality. I'm simple, fun being. <laughs> I like music, and I like dancing a lot. You're 21 years old, I right? My wife, um, okay. Yes, my 21 years. Okay. I start my work inside 2020. I live with Osa, artist, model, and footballer. And I like meeting with a lot of them. Okay, so why the Big Sister Show? Why do you want to be part of the show this season? Uh, I want to be part of the Big Sister Show because it is the first reality TV show in Sierra Leone, but not only in Sierra Leone, but Africa as a way, which is a platform that was created for women empowerment and spotting out young ladies who are talented. So I think that I should use this program to showcase my own ability and talent to the world so that other people will be learning out of me. Okay, so what are the what what is this talent you want to showcase to the world? Uh, um, for those um out there that because I I have an entertainment of students where like I'm teaching them about music. Those who have the talent of singing, I learn them how to put their voice, and those of them who, who dance, I train them as well. And then um also I like um telling people about good things i like creating my own things out there so that people be learning out of me okay um let's say you make it into the house who is that one person that you want to take along with you if i make it inside the house yeah let's say you get chosen to you know be part of the season three and this season it's basically bestie season so who is that one person that you consider your bestie, and why would you want that person to go along with you into the village? Well, I told me I would choose um, Jennifer. <laughs> why Jennifer? Because um, I like her a lot because most of the time I watch, I watch her on TikTok, the way of talking. She talks exactly like Jennifer and she's friendly, she's simple, fun being with. So I just need to see her and be around her a lot. Oh wow! You know, you know that Jennifer also wants to go for season three, right? Yes, ma. Oh, okay. So that's why you want to take. That's why you want her to be the bestie that you take along with you. Or is there any other reason? Or, or, or is it? Or is it the fact that you liked her? You like her? I just like her. Oh, that's really sweet. You know, she'll probably watch this and be like, "Oh, I already have a fan that wants to be my best friend." So that's really, really sweet. <laughs> Okay, so let's say we choose you to go into the house and you end up winning the 500 million loans. What will you do with the money? Well, we all know that um, everyone likes money a lot. But as for me, if I fortunate to win the money, because I have a fans out there, 
I've already given them my word. So like, um, if I win the money, I will put my mom's here. And then the rest, I want to use it to go to the orphanage to um, deliver something to the children and then go to the school, appreciate those of them that um, support me. And then I'll use the balance um, on my own self because I, I want to uh, um, focus on my music and through my um, academic because I want to enter the university. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us and hopefully we'll get back to you. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. How are you? Can I'm, I'm you tell fine, us about yourself, see. please? Okay, I am Sexilicious Kumba, aka it's Kumzi Baby. Mm -hmm. I'm smart, intelligent, yelling, supportive, courageous, and that's me. Okay, so tell me, why are you here today? Okay, I'm here today to go through the Big Sisters season three audition because I was there last year, season two, 2019, and I'm here again. I'm not I remember, I remember you. <laughs> I'm here again. Since 2019, I wasn't mature. I'm not be mature enough, but now I'm here again. So, <laughs> okay, okay, so, right, so what, what makes you think you're, you're more mature now to actually come for this again? Like, what has changed? Oh, because I'm more confident now than ever than before. I'm more confident in myself. I believe I can speak out uh, what I'm capable of. I believe I can do things that I wasn't capable of doing by then. That was why I wasn't qualified and... I didn't make it. So how many yeses did you get the last time you were you were auditioning? Yeah, the last time I think it was two or three. I could I I, I won't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> so who was your favorite judge in the last um um audition? Oh, that last audition, Kamara was my favorite judge, but hmm, she didn't even vote for me last last audition. Mm. <laughs> was there a favorite? Well, wait, she already said it, right? <laughs> that last time you walked in there, I remember you, by the way. You walked in there, yeah. but I saw you in as much as you had so much potential, but I knew that you were not mature enough, you know? Yeah. You, 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 like, yeah. I see, I'm like, okay, she was not mature enough for what it entails to be part of this season. So that's why I told you. That's why I told you that, okay, there's always season three. And look at you. Now you're more confident, you're uh, smiling, you know what you're about. I'm actually, I am impressed by what you're presenting. So you see? So Kumba, tell me, where do you see yourself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? I see myself as a very potential woman, a lady, uh, a role model, a mentor for some people, and maybe all, and I believe, I can stand and speak out for myself and I would have been stronger than now in the next five years. In the next five I'll years. I'll be more stronger than, yeah. Okay, now I want you to convince me to actually choose you to go into the big sister house. So if I ask to convince me and let me choose you, how would you convince me? First of all, as you can see, um, I'm not going to back down, never. I won't back down. And <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah. because I'll convince you that seeing my face last year, seeing it again this year shows that this girl is very persevering. She she knows what she wants in life. She knows what's best for her. And I'm ready to work towards it. And even if I didn't make it again this year, that is even if, because God knows best, I'll come again next year. And this year, I know this year is going to be the best year for me because I'll do my best. and. I have so much to offer. I have so much to offer. I have so much to do. I have skills, talent, and I'm capable of doing things that you won't tell unless you try me. Give me a chance. Okay. So this is a, I'm going to ask like a funny question. Let's say if you were an animal, what animal would you want to be? If I were an animal, I would love to be what is the Yatu. Yatu, eh? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you say Yatu. <laughs> I like the honest. Uh, well, you can ask Ami what animal she wants to be. Let her give you a. I want to be a bird so I can fly up high and see everything in the universe. Oh, oh you also yeah, want to be I a bird. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah. 
Why? <laughs> Why? Because I want to fly above expectations. I want to tell the world that I can move. Huh. I can move. That I have wings that they can't see right now. I have wings that I can fly. So. Okay, so you took what I wanted to be. So I'm going to ask you another question because of that. I wanted to be a bird and you said I want to be a bird too. So no. Okay. If you were a superhero, what would be your superpower? Huh. And why? <laughs> my confidence. <laughs> my superpower. Okay, your, your superpower would be confidence. Okay. Yeah. So are you not confident now in who you... In... I'm very confident. So basically, so, so that, that, would, that would be your superpower when you become a superhero. Yeah, I'm confident and then I will be confident forever. Okay, okay so you'll be with confidence. No, it's not confidence. Like, I believe and trust that one thing about life is that you work towards what you want in life. You know what you want in life and then you put effort towards it. Yeah. So that's, I'm going to beat people's confidence. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not crying anybody's confidence. And I want to super head their confidence no i'm just saying about talking about myself okay yeah. okay so i'm going to give you an example of a superhero do you know superman well, yeah not they watch the film that they say don't watch <laughs> but, okay. have you watched snake girl that nigeria film yes yeah. have you watched snake girl I don't say but i can remember, I can remember okay so you girl. know the, the lady her superpower was turning into a, a snake and doing what mm. what sorts you know that that so that's a superpower if you're a superhero you have this superpower that you can use to defeat your enemy or save use the world to save the world that kind of stuff yeah yeah i i can do that if i have that so, okay oh okay um i just think do you have any more questions no i don't have any more questions so i just have one more question for you um what do you do for fun you know what do you do for what fun? What do I do for? Yeah, what you can do for get fun and what people and for expect from um, Kumba if you go inside the village? Okay, Kumba, as you can see, I started, uh, for instance, I love music. I realized I can sing when I decided to support somebody that was in the house last year. So mm. <laughs> I did a song and then I, I, I realized, that's when I realized I can sing. And, uh, I have a talent for singing. So and I have a very good cooking skill. I have my recipes. I have recipes that I can implement. Okay. You understand? And I need, uh, I can dance. I love singing. I love singing. I love, I love being sexy. Oh, and so many. Oh, so many. okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So people basically should just look forward to your singing, your dancing, and you just being sexy. sexy right? You have so much to offer. I have so much to offer offer i'll inspire girls out there like oh wow relenting is, shouldn't be part of you being being uh looking down on yourself shouldn't be part of you you should okay. always believe in yourself and know you can do it always know you can do it okay have faith in yourself okay. self-belief and i can say i always crush myself self oh i love that confidence okay. <laughs> well thank you so much kumba yeah thanks for joining us we'll get back to you later yeah all right thank Bye. you Hey guys, so I'm Mr. Thomas and I'm video for Basis Star Salon season 3 this year, bestie season. So yeah, of course, you know, the popular lady in our TikTok as known, you understand? So um, yeah, people know me for my creativity, me create stuff I get, you know, me like... So my name is Esther Thomas, again, I'm going to say that again, of course, I'm going to say that again. So um, yeah, I'm going for the big sister bestie season this year so guys um me now 23 years of age um i didn't i didn't make uh small small money online working work online you know just part time so and um yeah i have a single mother me and my mom name one guy gets me daddy be don't die or i've been small it's okay it's just okay 
It's fine. But my bestie, what are you going to say, big sister? Number one, she's supportive. She's amazing. She loves to pray. They attend IPAM University. She's so cool. Like, we get so many things in common. She's just like a sister to me. Like, she's amazing. Like, in background, so good. You come on a, a very good uh, family. They, they talk good about um, whenever I go, you know, behind and back. Any sideways, they talk good about her. And I think friend, I leave my life as best friend. So my best friend is amazing. And she's, she's active, just like me. Like, ambitious, just like me. Like, she's amazing. Her name is Stongal. I want to wear, but for short, Stongal. Yeah. Boy, you doubt it out, I say rush by your form. Boy, you doubt it out, baby, can't by your form. In no matter how sad you do, America, England, take hands alone. If you want the drama, we they bring the drama. If you want enjoyment, we they bring enjoyment. In no matter what you know you color, whether you black, whether you white. If you want the drama, we they bring the drama. If you want enjoyment, we dey bring enjoyment. Una come more, me here don't want more. Big sister, bestie, season don't come more. Una come more, me here want fly go. Big sister, bestie, season don't come more. Una come more, me here don't want more. Big sister, bestie, season don't come more. Una come more, me here want fly go. Now big sister's bestie, season don't come more. Oh, I am down for the drama. This is SLBC Entertainment.